Hey guys, Teacher Tommy here, and I wanted to bring you this video in response to the many questions that I have gotten on two separate videos about how I managed to insert music into my videos. One of the videos was a video of me singing to Baby Shark, well, dancing to Baby Shark, and having the music playing, and then the other video was me with an actual um, YouTube video from The Ellen Show, and me and my student actually dancing along. And so I wanted to, I've addressed them into separate videos but I'm noticing more often than not that I keep having the reoccurring question of how did you do it I think I did address it in another video I went back and kind of amended one of the videos but I'm in three separate teaching groups I've posted in all three and I can't remember in which one I did what so I figured you know what Tommy make one video showing both techniques and hopefully this will help people if they want to try one of the variations and if one works for them and one doesn't so gonna do that also if you hear me reference secondary um, software or secondary program in this video I said this in the last video that I posted but again the only reason I say that and I don't just outright say what programs and everything I'm using is because these groups are not mine other moderators other people started these groups and they have rules and policies for what can and cannot be done or said or promoted in their groups and I'm trying to be respectful of that and I'm a part of so many different groups that I like to share in I don't remember whose rules are what and who's more lenient than who I don't the only one that I know of that was really really lenient is teachers of um, of multiple ESL companies but other than that the others have rules and regulations they may be about a particular company that you teach for and you can't say something about the other company or you can only talk about you know if the group is about rewards then you don't need to be talking about something else it may be about just rewards or just props so I'm just trying to be respectful across the board and that's why I say for additional info or specifics DM me and then we can get as specific as we need to and I can send you a million links if you want to so that is why it's nothing top secret it's nothing that I'm trying to give some and not tell others no it's just I'm trying to be respectful and extend the same courtesy that I would want um, from people all right so let's jump into this um, first and foremost I want to show you what my desktop is looking like right now this is my desktop screen so I have three screens open the top up there is mini cam that looks like the continuous feed of foreverness um, this is how my screen is usually set up when I'm teaching also except instead of the YouTube um, video the Chrome browser being over there above that would be the actual teaching app and I just have it side by side with my mini cam I keep my secondary um, program at the bottom in case I need to switch between backgrounds and then if I'm adding music then the Chrome browser will be open if I'm not that will just be blank underneath there this is how I have it set up every single day have never had a problem okay so I just want to show you guys what that is looking like so first thing first when I am trying to make a decision as to how I want to add um, music to my video I first want to know do I just want the music playing and then I have all of my stuff on the screen like I did with baby shark and I can move stuff around or if it's one of those dance reward classes that me and Jessica and me and some of my other students have sometimes then I want the image playing behind us the dance routine or the whatever playing behind us and then we are just in two squares and we're trying to follow along but most of the time it's just the music playing I don't have dance parties with every single student it's only my students that really really love music really love to dance and their parents don't really have a problem with it and a lot of those are not the little four and five and six year old students but it's the older students for my younger students I usually just have my rewards and stuff on the screen and just the music playing okay my older students I mean you know seven eight nine ten and up they pretty much can watch a video and try to go along with it and their parents are cooler because they don't care about no little baby stars and cupcakes they don't so at least mine don't so let's get back over here so first things first let's go over to YouTube and what I do here is I find the video that I want now some people have said um, let me go back over here real quick some people have said that when they try to put YouTube links in minicam it doesn't work for them or they've tried a YouTube link I don't want to use generalities and I want to put emphasis on the uh because not everybody but more often than not when I did dive deeper and ask okay well after that happened what did you do the, the answer is usually well nothing I just left it alone it didn't work we can't have that mindset in 2020 guys 
This is the year of storm the gate. If it doesn't work, you make it work. If there's not a door, you carve a window. You have to have a resilient mindset of if this is something I want to do, and if there is a way that it has ever worked for anyone else, that means it's possible, and I just need to figure out how to make it work for me. Now, the determining factor is gonna be whether you care enough and you feel like you're gonna get enough out of it to put the extra energy in. For me, I'm a lifelong learner. I don't like to know, not know how to do stuff. I'd rather have an abundance of information that I don't need than need it and I don't have it. So I'm always challenging myself to learn. That may not be you. I will caution you, if it's not you, to make it you, especially in 2020 with technology technology taking over the world, jobs, everything, um, even the way medical care is done and you getting your results from your doctor is going to be technical. Um, so, uh, so I would say definitely if you don't have, um, if you're not tech savvy, that that's not an excuse. Learn. There's enough free information. Learn. But some people say, well, I tried to use the YouTube link and it didn't work for me. It didn't work for me, not they didn't work for me. And I wanna show you why I'm drawing a distinguishing um, separation with that. All right, so let's go back over here. And yes, she always preaching in every video. She gotta say something. She just can't do a tutorial. You daggone right. I'm not gonna just give you, you know, milk and not give you meat, um, even though I don't eat meat. So you know what I mean by that. Anyway, <laughs> so we're over here in YouTube and let's go down here. I have my video here. Now, if you want the whole video to play, then by all means, you just copy, you go to share, and you just click copy. But for me, very seldom do I want a video to just play from the beginning. I usually have a sweet spot in the video that I really want it to start at. So for this one, we're gonna go. Okay, so I wanted about right there. So the difference is now when I click share, it gives me an option to start from there, nine seconds in versus the entire video. And I can stop it at whatever point I wanna stop it at. So now I'm gonna click copy. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to come back on over to, um, I'm gonna come back over to my mini cam and then let me show you all what I'm clicking on over here because I want you to be able to follow along. Okay, so I'm in Minicam now and I'm down here at my presets. I have four open, my main screen, the one where I showed you all my desktop, the YouTube one, where I'm gonna show you how to change the music out, I mean, um, how to make sure your student can hear, and then this screen. Down here, I'm going to right click and I'm going to select the option that says YouTube URL. And I'm going to paste that in there. I'm pasting the link in. Now watch this. It's trying to pull the baby shark, trying to pull the baby shark. Boom, it pulled the baby shark. Now I tried this on another link that was like this one and that link wouldn't work, but this one does. This is the reason why I say, and I'm just gonna click okay for that, and then I'm gonna, okay, I came out of there. So if I come out of that screen, it's not, I can't hear the music. It's only when I go into that screen that I can hear the music. And so, um, and let me go over there and pause it too, by the way. Let me pause it. Okay, so let's come back over here. So, um, I've heard some people say, well, I tried a link and it didn't work. Certain links have protections over them to where with certain software and the algorithms, it will not let it play. I don't know how they do it. I'm not a tech genius, but I've noticed with some links, it'll give me an error message saying failed or it won't play. And then I will try another video and that will, will play. That's why you have to be resilient and you can't stop at the first obstacle, okay? So if your first video doesn't play, try it with another video. And a lot of you probably um, may have been like, well, how do I copy the link? Some people go up to the URL tab and they'll copy that. I like to do mine from the share. Don't know if there's any difference, but it always works for me if I do the share more so than if I go to the top and try to copy it out of the, um, the bar at the top. So that's how I do it and get it to play behind me in, um, in the, like the whole video from YouTube. So like right here, this is the full video. This is how Ellen was showing up behind me. And then I just did the whole add a layer. 
put myself down here and then decided where I wanted me to come through and I was down here and my student was up at the top and that's how I did that with the Ellen video now the other way that you all want to know is okay what if I don't want the whole video I just want the music well you can just open a Google Chrome tab and you can just push play on YouTube and rock out to it you can do it that way but I want to show you how to make sure the sound is coming through the computer and not just your microphone but through the computer where the student can hear it so let's go over here all right so I still have Chrome open over to the side but I want that sound to come through the headphones to my student as well so what I do is I go over here in minicam and I'm going to scroll down and click audio okay and I would already have this synced up and ready on the preset that I want the audio to come through so whichever little square I want the audio to come through which will be my main feed okay here's where we want to look where it says audio inputs this is our sweet spot the audio inputs because this is and as you all see is jumping that's because my voice is coming through my microphone this is where the sound is coming into the computer so the first preset is I mean sorry this first input is my microphone my lapel mic that I have on and if I click the drop down arrow I can choose you know if I want to offset the sync which I don't if I want to mix it to monotone all of that kind of stuff if I want to change my voice to sound like an alien I can do that but I don't want to mess with that right now so I have me set to come through here you can also add a second device as a mic usually when we think of playing something through the speakers we're thinking about speakers so I'm gonna set that to default playback device because I'm not worried about that right now what I want to do is add another microphone and I want this microphone to be my system sound which is my internal sound that's coming through the computer coming out of YouTube I want the student to hear that as well through my headphones um, the same way I'm hearing it in my headphones I want the student to hear it coming through their their speakers so when I click system sound that is letting my student be able to hear whatever I play as well and that is how I get it to play there so when I click on baby shark the student would hear that and they're not hearing it muffled as though it's just coming through my microphone and they're hearing it like if I were playing my cell phone in my hand they're hearing it as clear as day just like I'm hearing it through the computer and that is how I do the two techniques of adding music to my videos this video is 11 minutes long I spent two or three minutes explaining to you why I don't say the name of the secondary source and I spent another however many minutes showing you piece by piece how I click on different whatever whatever's and giving explanations and it's still only 12 minutes long at this point which means these processes don't take forever that was with a lot of talking that it took me to do all of that and still have time to you know to talk to you guys so this shouldn't take you once you get it down pat adding the link and doing that shouldn't take you more than two minutes really and that's how I'm able to do this for my students without it being an inconvenience without a bunch of tech issues once you put in the work to learn it the first time everything after that is like everything else in your life you learned it once and you do the same job umpteen thousand times over but it takes you a fraction of the time so hopefully this helps Help someone I wanted to keep the video under 12 under 10 minutes I didn't meet that goal but hopefully you're more knowledgeable as a result all right guys stay blessed not stressed